Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for April 25th, 2022. Well, those bears really came out to play, showed their teeth on Friday, pushing the indexes down, and unfortunately, we're continuing to follow through a bit this morning. Although the futures are trying to bounce just slightly, off of overnight lows. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Boy, we have an uncertain market um, with lots of technical damage that was created on Friday. So let's dive into these charts, see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, as you can see, we had a pretty rough day here on Friday. We rallied back up, tested this price resistance in the chart, and then really got hit hard with a nasty reversal on Thursday, and then just an ugly, ugly sell-off here on Friday that's continuing today, and actually it's kind of wrapped itself around the world. So when we take a look at the diamonds, let's notice right in here, we have a little bit of price support that we tried to hold into the Friday close, just right there. But unfortunately, we are gapping a little bit lower this morning, pushing down into this level of the chart. Now, the good news on this, if there is some good news, is that we have reached a short-term oversold condition in the market and that possibility that we could bounce. So if we find a little bit of support here, we could certainly bounce back up. But if we begin to, to get a relief rally, we're going to want to watch this price resistance level right here. Let's keep in mind we could rally back into that price resistance level and we could continue to see those sellers come on. So we'll want to watch that closely. Now we have a massive week of data coming our way that could change everything. So, you know, if you're a bull, boy, you're really going to have to keep those fingers crossed that earnings and economic data come in strong. If you're a bear, well, I think you're also going to have to keep those fingers crossed because there is an opportunity for an awful lot of volatility this week. Let's take a look. We closed uh, Friday back below our 50-day moving average, uh, failing up here around our 200-day moving average once again. And you got to recognize the fact that possibility that we easily could push on down here and test these 2022 lows here in the diamonds. Now, if we take a look at the SPY, SPY, pretty ugly here in the chart. As a matter of fact, the gap down this morning is going to come pretty darn close to testing our 2022 lows here in the chart. And we've given up our last little um, refuge of price support here in the chart. So obviously pretty ugly. We have a follow through to the downside from a lower low to a lower high and if we do get a relief rally then we're going to want to start watching some of these resistance levels in the chart notice we created a little bit of resistance right in there we're going to have resistance right up in here in that chart and then of course the downtrend so if we do catch that bounce back or a relief rally and I do think there is a relief rally on the way um, then we have that opportunity that we could run into those these resistance levels and continue to see some selling. If we can push on through with a relief rally and start breaking some of these resistance levels, just keep that big downtrend area in mind and realize we could just follow that downtrend on down here in the market. If we start getting some earnings reports or economic data that supports the bears. So watch that close. Now, if those bears continue to push and if they continue to to show that aggression, then that possibility, guys, that we could push right down in here and test these 2022 lows, 
doesn't look out of the question. As a matter of fact, it's easily possible that that could occur today. So watch that close. Failure of there would be a major problem for us. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ is suffering an awful lot here. Um, we um, officially made lower lows, uh, followed by um, after making um, higher lows in the chart. And we are right down here testing the 2022 lows this morning on the gap down. So if we start rallying back, we've got a pretty substantial move that uh, could occur uh, for us to rally back up and catch up to this downtrend um, and resistance levels in the chart. So we've got a lot of work here to do. And unfortunately, our bonds continue to put pressure here. And then, of course, um, our Fed, you know, um, next month will be um, probably aggressively raising interest rates, causing more problems here for us in the market. Lots of uncertainty. Let's just say that. Lots of uncertainty. So if those bears continue to push here this morning, we're going to want to watch this level because if they break that level like right there, we're going to have maybe some panic setting into the market. If they can hold in here and start to rally back, we've got all that work to come back up and test. And you'll want to notice here that we're well below our 50-day moving average. As a matter of fact, we're testing a 500-day moving average in the chart. So just kind of keep that in mind. We've got a lot of work here before those bulls start really um, showing their defense. And then if we take a look at the Russell, Russell also follows Going through to the downside, and as I had been suggesting, I just really didn't have a whole lot of confidence that the um, Russell would be able to just break right through there without something significant and change in the market. And we're back down here testing the 2022 lows. So we'll want to watch that closely because if the bears push on through that low, I want you to take a look right in here how big a hole there is underneath here. If we fall into this area, I think there really is a possibility here where we are falling pretty significantly here in the Russell. So uh, maybe a little bit of extra right in here, um, right around the 160 area in, in uh, that chart. But unfortunately, um, there's an awful lot of pressure here in the market, so we'll want to watch that carefully. And then, of course, we broke um, broke our 50-day moving average and slid right through our 500-day moving average here in the chart. So. You know, we're overdue for some kind of a relief rally because of the extreme move here. And I'll show you that in T2122 here in just a second. But I'll tell you, with um, markets around the world joining in on the selling here today with um, China issues and COVID restrictions and um, uh, supply chain breaks uh, and then European issues um, with the war in Ukraine and their inflationary problems as well. They've all kind of joined in on the selling and so it's starting to look a little bit ugly here in the markets. So watch that closely. If we don't bounce off of those supports, it could get brutal today, um, even today. Then let's take a look at our, um, our VIX. Now our VIX, whoops, our VIX um, shot up pretty strongly, selling into the close on Friday. Obviously, that's a pretty ugly condition. And as I've suggested, that we're kind of bouncing between these levels around the 20 handle. And we shot right above the 25 handle here at the end of the day on Friday. So certainly volatility is high. And we have so much data coming our way. I would expect that volatility to remain very high and extremely challenging in this week ahead. So watch that carefully. If we continue to spike up in here on fear, um, it, it could get pretty ugly. Now, if we can rest and pull back, if we hold this higher low in here, we could really start running into some serious problems here in the VIX if that were to be the case. If we can break this back down and get back underneath that 25 area, that would help us an awful lot here in the market. Can't say what's going to be the case, just that we're going to have to be really on our toes and expect quite a little bit of volatility in price action.
Then if we take a look at our T2122, this is our best hope here um, that we have reached an oversold condition and the gap down this morning that we're likely to experience here in the market will push us you know, pretty close to the bottom here in that uh, T2122 indicator. So that gives us probably our best hope of a relief rally to begin at least a little bit of bounce coming into the market. So we'll want to watch that carefully. If we do get that opportunity to bounce, notice we've opened up a significant opportunity to the upside. But I want to remind everyone that just because we're down here doesn't necessarily mean if the hits keep coming um, in the market that we could not continue to sink and actually sink right through those 2022 lows. So you'll want to watch that carefully don't get the impression that this means that a bounce has to happen and it has to happen today. The, the likelihood that a bounce is coming is growing, but that doesn't necessarily mean it is a huge bounce back up. Remember, we've got lots of resistance levels above. So don't, don't try to anticipate a bounce um, is what I'm suggesting here because there is just so much data coming our way. It's hard to know what's gonna happen next. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now our T2108 really disappointed here. We were kind of trying to hold um, in that chart, hold on, but unfortunately we did sink back pretty hard. 38% of our stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. That's a massive change in a day. And as you can see, continuing in this downtrend. So we've got a little bit of hope here that we might hold on to this little price support and catch a little bounce. But if that does sink on through there, then we still have additional problems to deal with. And then our T2107, very much the same situation, pushing down by the close of the day, back down through that little price support right in there and continuing to follow the downtrend only 33 percent of our stocks holding above our 200 day so we are certainly bearish in the market and that continues now if we take a look at our t2101 interesting enough t2101 barely registered anything and what continues to amaze me is that we're getting these giant moves in the market and look at the volume here the volume was pathetic um, really surprising and I don't know how we can uh, continue to see these giant moves with very little volume in the market so just be careful I don't know what that means but I, I think everyone could uh, glean from that that there is a lot of danger here in the market if you're an inexperienced trader and um, this is going to be this could be a very very challenging week so um, consider if you don't feel that you have an edge then stand aside don't risk your money um, in a market that could move hundreds of points really quick because of the emotion that we see here in the market so just be really really careful let's take a look at our economic data and our economic data definitely has a, we have got a busy week here on the economic calendar first off you can see today is a relatively light day with not much going on in here on the calendar but boy that changes quick on tuesday durable goods orders consumer confidence new home sales we've got case shiller in there all of these could be problematic for us because we know housing has been struggling, consumer confidence has been ugly, um, durable goods could easily see um, a decline because of the impacts of inflation on the consumer. And then we've got international trading goods coming in on um, Wednesday, petroleum status, pending home sales. GDP on Thursday with those jobless claims. And then of course, personal incomes and outlays, which will be an interesting one. And one of my favorite indicators, um, the consumer sentiment. So we'll wanna watch those um, items closely as we progress through the week. And if that's not enough to give you plenty of heartburn in the market, then we have to deal with a huge week of earnings. Um, uh, we've got a lot of the big tech giants reporting this week, a lot of data coming our way. So you're going to have to keep those fingers crossed if we have some disappointing news that could really sink us. It could also save us if uh, those um, earnings reports, some of those big techs and things report better than expected. That could save us and start to rally back up. But if they disappoint, oof, 
um, it could be a really rough week ahead. Now, keeping that in mind, let's take a look at a few of these notables. We've got about 100 companies reporting, just over 100 companies reporting today. Some of the notables today to be keeping an eye on. Um, Activision will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Coca-Cola this morning. Coca-Cola looks like we started, a, whoops, that's a two-day started a little bit lower here this morning and it is trying to pick back up there's that activision on the on the one day we're going to hear from uh pkg pkg that'll be um an interesting one to, um today we'll want to keep an eye on that one we're going to hear from um whr um whirlpool being one of those consumer staples um, areas um, we'll want to keep an eye on that that has certainly been in an ugly decline we're going to hear from some banks uh, Zion will be um, reporting today um, plus quite a few others so if you want to get the full list of stocks that are reporting today make sure you click the link um, just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list and keep in mind guys it only ramps up from here we're gonna start I think tomorrow uh, we've got uh, Microsoft coming in and we're gonna start hearing from Google and Apple and just a slew of these uh, market moving reports so we'll want to keep a close eye on those so with that how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful and helpful if you could please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment that will help the channel to continue to grow and i thank you so much for everyone and all of those kind responses um, you guys are awesome and hey I want to let you guys know keep an eye out I believe we're going to open up the trading rooms hit and run candlesticks and right way options on um, May 2nd and 3rd for a kind of an open house and we'll do some training those days and open it up to the public so if you're interested kind of put that on your calendar start watching for that because that will be coming up soon then let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please guys keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to really have to work pretty hard on your technical analysis here because when we're in a market with so much data coming our way the volatility is likely going to be substantial which means any trade signal that you see out there could quickly and easily reverse to the other side so watch these carefully and make sure you understand the risks of these markets um, I gotta tell you this might be a great week to just kind of um, be a little mouse in the corner watching the market protecting um, your capital rather than jumping into the fray because it could be um, pretty challenging uh, to trade. Let's take a look at some stocks that are really um, starting to show some some pain and pressure here. Take a look at Visa. Visa um, breaking down here on uh, Friday, pushing down here toward this price support. So what I would do on stocks like this where we're confirming those downtrends here, I would want to watch for that next rally back into resistance and pick up some short trades here. Visa not looking good. If you take a look at MasterCard, MasterCard um, also showing some of that pressure here. It hasn't quite broken all the way down. So there is that little bit of hope MasterCard could hold in here. But I tell you, when you look at other pay systems out there um, like SQ, it's really showing the pain and the pressure that we're seeing in the consumer right now. SQ continuing to fall. PayPal. Um, ugly 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 here in these charts um, not looking good in any way shape or form the 
the um, the great looking stocks right now continue to remain in energy um, XLE now they have pulled back pretty substantially but if we take a, a here just this week but if we take a look at some stocks in here although they've pulled back we've got support levels underneath and we easily could see that bounce back up now we are seeing some demand destruction um, going on in the market due to inflation so maybe these will start softening up just a bit or continue to soften as you can see we're getting some selling here this morning but we'll want to watch those closely those continue to be pretty interesting stocks to watch also you might want to look in the um, exploration oil exploration area um, rig has been really quite problematic here um, rig would be one that i might watch for a potential short notice that we're running in this downtrend here a rally back could definitely set up a short now the other place that is really showing lots and lots of strength and that's going to be in the uh, food and commodity sectors of the market take a look at uh, my khc KHC showing lots and lots of strength here, continuing to move in this upside trend, beautiful upside trend, catching just a little bit of rest with all of the selling here on Friday, but this continues to set up for possible some upside. You will want to keep in mind, we've got earnings coming on the way. Take a look at stocks like GIS, General Mills, very, very strong, um, HSY, Hershey, has been very strong getting a little bit of resting pull back in here with this market but watch for that next opportunity to the upside how about kellogg's boy they don't get much more boring than kellogg's uh, pulling back to a little bit of price support may set up for an opportunity and then of course um, um, just keep going down the line on um, those con defensive sector stocks like clx uh, trying to break through into a gap above wmt has been holding up really really strong lots of those consumer defensive stocks holding up now last place I want to mention and I'm running out of time here really quickly is we're going to have to keep an eye on these metals um, um, FCX has been selling off really really strong here but I think there is that possibility that we could start catching a bounce back in these stocks so keep a close eye on that GLD has been holding up quite strong getting a pretty substantial sell here this morning as we're seeing bonds pulling back a little bit but watch that closely there's so much pressure on the market um, uh, precious metals could start picking up um, we've saw um, Alcoa gets sold off pretty strongly. Watch for that potential bounce in Alcoa uh, to be coming along here as um, these commodities are likely going to continue to see a lot of buying in them um, with all of the um, all of the pressure that we're seeing in the overall market so with that guys we also want to be keeping a close eye on t the tech sector um, because we've got that big round of earnings coming out uh, Microsoft down here trying to break through some lows if Microsoft reports well that could be an upside move I would not speculate on it though because there is that opportunity if Microsoft were to miss a pretty big fall in, in those charts. So we'll have a lot of these stocks to be watching this week that could move around quite a bit. I think Twitter might be something to be paying attention to. Uh, Twitter's going to be reporting this week, but at the same time, it looks like um, the, the board of Twitter is considering the takeover bid from um, Elon Musk. So that could be an interesting one here um, to be paying attention to. So watch that one closely. Could be in play this week, and I would suspect lots of volatility. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. You know, if you don't feel like you have an edge, remember, you don't have to trade. You can stand aside, let better markets come your way. Wait until you have that edge. It's going to be a challenging week, I think. So be careful. Be safe, everyone. I want to wish you all the best, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning.